Now let's add Formic to the registration page. So click on sign up and open the register page. And here we have four input text boxes. Now what I want, I want to get all the values of these input text boxes and print in the console. So I'm going to back to my project and here I'm going to click on this register.js. Right up here, we need to first import Formic. So I'm going to say here, import use Formic from Formic. And then right down here, I'm going to say constant Formic is equal to use Formic. And inside an object, you specify different properties. So what you have to do is you have to first specify the initial values. So as you know, inside this registration form, you have different input text boxes. So we are going to create all that properties inside this initial values. So you know that we have username. So we specify here a property called username and specify initial value empty string. Th then I'm going to specify here email, password and C password means confirm password. So I'm going to have four text boxes in my form. So I'm going to create here four properties and then I'm going to specify these property values to the input text boxes. Let me create here and specify the on submit function. So I'm going to say here on submit. As you know, I don't have this function. So let me create that right down here. I'm going to say async function on submit. And you get all the values as a parameter inside this function. And then I'm going to see here console.log values. Scroll down from this input text boxes, you need to get values. So right down here, you have to say curly braces and then you need to call get field props. So just pass here spread operator first, then say formic dot get field props. And inside this parenthesis, you specify the name of this field. This field is for username. So I'm going to say here username. Let me copy this for the second text box right here. I'm going to specify the same statement, but this time instead of username, I'm going to say here email. Do the same for the third text box and instead of this username, I'm going to say here password and do the same for this last text box and I'm going to specify here C password and at the end, don't forget to specify on submit function to this form right here. So you specify here on submit and inside this you specify formic dot handle submit. Let me save the changes, back to the project, open the console, reload the browser, and if I specify here username, email, some password, by clicking on this button, you can see your password. And when I click on this login button, you can see I'm going to get all the values of this form. Let me change this login button name to register or sign up. That's upon you. So I'm just going to change the name of this button. When you click on this button, you're going to get all the values of your form as a response. 